lion. I thought that would oh, be clear. Up. Just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. <sighs> Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty. One of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? He asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice fields. These days he just hangs out at the warehouse stretching his stomach, the fat pig. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. 
Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclunies, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards, but the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here, and you should try the same. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? To teach these bastards how to talk to me properly. And before you knew it, you'd become another of those bastards yourself. No, sir, I'm not training you for that. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? No. I thought so. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that.
Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. <sighs> Thanks, man. My mouth's like a de- Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. <sighs> Hi, I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, I spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. You! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. What are you doing here? I'm working for the Rice Lord. If you need something, ask Lefty. 